Uh, Lorcan, a warm welcome to Talca Park, a Shells player today. How does it feel? It's great, it's brilliant. It happened very quickly there last week, um, but no, it's brilliant. Uh, perfect timing and delighted to be here uh, in home dressing rather than the away dressing uh, at Talca. You got the call from Damien, what did he say? Uh, I mean, it's easy enough to sell the club. It's, it's a brilliant club. Um, I've seen what happens, uh, happened over the last three years. Uh, it's going in a great direction, um, but obviously he was just highlighting that. Um, and the project here is exciting and a uh, sim simple answer. And your own career, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, despite the English accent, uh, I'm actually Irish. I grew up in England uh, to Irish parents and they've actually just moved back uh, after 40 years. They're living in Sligo now. Um, but yeah, I moved here six years ago uh, to UCD and this is home. Um, so I'm trying to shake the accent. Uh, it's, going, it's going slowly but surely. Um, I played, played in England, non-league level. Uh, I spent a little bit of time at uh, academies and then got the offer at UCD. So I spent the last five years doing a couple of degrees um, and obviously playing five years of football uh, and now I'm here. I think coming from UCD is probably a place where as a, as a goalkeeper you get a little baptism of fire, you're kept busy enough. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the first couple of years, we're obviously in the first division um, and winning lots of games. Still quite busy, but still uh, less busy as when we came up to the Premier Division. Um, you yeah, have sort of five seasons in one season. Uh, but look, it's good. Yeah, as a young goalkeeper, you want experience at senior level. So getting games under my belt was the, the priority. So I really enjoyed my time there and had a brilliant five years and love to get calm now. Tell us a bit about yourself, what kind of keeper are you, what attributes do you bring? Um, I feel that my long range distribution, that's probably my strength. Uh, from a young age, I tried to play senior football from the age of, sort of 16 and obviously distribution is a big part, especially non league in England. Um, so I'd say that's my strength, uh, sort of long range distribution into, into decent areas. Um, and then just shot stopping wise, I think if, uh, it's the number one thing of modern keepers these days who focus on the feet a lot. Um, but shot stopping is probably one of my strengths. Um, and it's a necessary thing to keep the ball out of the goal. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's me in a nutshell. How much would your Premier Division this season experience have you gained Santi? I think it's a massive gap. Well, it's not a massive gap. It's a big difference in the speed between the First Division and the Premier Division. So over the last couple of years, it's been really important to, to get 30, 40 games um, at that level and that speed. Uh, cause it's vital to, to really understand. I mean, you can watch it from the sidelines, you can, you can watch it on TV, but unless you play in it, it's a completely different experience. So I think it's going to stand me in good stead. Uh, to get up to speed, um, so yeah. How big an attraction was it to work with uh, the likes of the coaching staff, Paul Skinner, the manager, the players that are here? Yeah, it, it was absolutely uh, brilliant looking at the, the coaching staff. I mean, I see Damon alone uh, growing up watching him play for Ireland, and Newcastle fan watching Newcastle, and Joey as well in the, in the Premier League. So you can see from that side of things, huge quality to pick up loads from them. Um, and obviously, Paul Skinner from the outside, every, all goalkeepers speak. So from, from my phone on the outside, excellent goalkeeper coach. That was a huge, huge factor uh, to, get to, to say yes to coming here uh, and know that I'm going to improve uh, under good watch lights. You might be one in a million, you're probably the only Newcastle fan to say <laughs> kind words about the manager. He didn't seem to be particularly popular in that part of the world for a while. What are your aims and ambitions for this year? Look, I think last year set the bar for the club. Um, and personally, I'm going to come in, uh, chat with Guernsey, I like Guernsey, spend a bit of time with him uh, at UCD. So, come in here and help the team uh, in any way I can to sort of push, push in Europe and push up the league and also hopefully a good cup run as well. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you very much.